You are now listening to The Shaw Report with Damian Banks. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. 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 Shaw Bears alum and fans rejoice. This is your very own podcast hosted by moi, Damian S. Banks. This is the official podcast of your Shaw University Athletics where week in, week out, I give you a recap and rundown everything that's going on within the athletic department at your Shaw University. And oh boy, it is great to be a bear. Thank you for joining us er Monday on ShawBears.com. You can also get scheduling you can also get information regarding anything dealing with shaw university athletic department on shawbears.com thanks again for joining us again i am damian banks it's 2020 it's a new year but you still know what time it is you know how we do so don't act brand new follow your boy on instagram and twitter at sports by damian that's s-p-o-r-t-s-b-y-d-a-i-m-e-o-n and Shaw University Athletics are on social media. On Twitter, it's at Shaw Bears. On Instagram, it's at SU underscore Bears. And on Facebook.com backslash Shaw Bears. Also on Snapchat, Shaw U Athletics. Follow us. We'll follow you back. And we thank you kindly. Another week is in the books. It's, it's in the past. It's behind us. Don't look in the rear view mirror. Look ahead. Because if you look backwards, you're not looking ahead. You might crash and hit somebody. But I digress. New week, who this? New year, who this? Well, I'll tell you who it is. It's the latest and the greatest in Shaw University athletics. Got a lot going on in the athletic department. Men's, women's basketball winding down their regular season. This 2020 CIAA basketball tournament is fastly approaching. The basketball tournament's tickets are now on sale. The tournament is held February the 25th through the 29th at the Bojangles Coliseum and the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Last year, that is going to be held in Charlotte before they move to Baltimore. So purchase your general admission tickets. Contact Shaw University Cashier's Office at 919-546-8655. The basketball tournament is fastly approaching. Men's, women's basketball season almost over. Got senior day coming up. On this Wednesday for both women's and men's basketball. So come out and see C. Spalding Gymnasium. Support the seniors. We also have head coach Nadia Jeffries. They just kicked off their season. Had a couple of games already, but Coach Jeffries and the softball squad are in action this past week. We're going to talk about that on the Shaw Bears scoreboard. Also, we have men's and women's tennis scores. We'll talk about Men's and women's tennis on the Shaw Bear scoreboard. And we have a dope interview this week with the man, the myth, the legend, the head coach for both women's and men's tennis. Sunday Entertainment will join us on the Shaw Report this week. We got a lot going on, but first, you know, I got to take a commercial break. We got to pay some bills. Don't go anywhere. But if you do come right back, you're listening to the Shaw Report on ShawBears.com. Surround yourself with opportunity at Shaw University in the heart of downtown Raleigh. Define your path to success through undergraduate, accelerated adult degree, teacher certification, and graduate programs. Your future begins today at Shaw University. This is the Shaw Report with Damian Biggs. I love you. And we are back on the Shaw Report. Thank you for joining us again. I am your host, Damian Banks. You can find the podcast every Monday on ShawBears.com. Also, Shaw Athletics has its own digital streaming platform, the Shaw Bears Sports Network at ShawBears.com. Fans, alumni, parents, and students can watch all of their favorite teams live, including the CIAA Championship Contest. Visit ShawBears.com today to enjoy past events and view the upcoming scheduled events. It's going to be softball, track and field. You never know what you can see on the Shaw Bears Sports Network. If you miss some of the football games from this previous season, go to the Shaw Bears Sports Network on ShawBears.com. Click the Game Day Central icon. Go to On Demand. You can look up anything, football, basketball, men's, women's soccer, men's, women's tennis, anything you want to look at. ShawBears.com, the Shaw Bears Sports Network has it, and we thank you kindly. Speaking of men's and women's tennis, I told you guys before the break, 
we have a dope, dope, dope guest for this week's edition of the interview on the Shaw Report. None other than head coach of the men's and women's tennis program Sunday in a tan. He's been putting in work for the Bears for quite some time now. Got a chance to sit down with Coach in a tan. And here's the interview for you guys and gals on the Shaw Report. And we are joined on the Shaw Report this week by the head coach of both men's and women's tennis programs, head coach Sunday in a tan. Coach, thank you for joining us this week on the show. Thank you for having me. And coach, I just wanted to catch up with you before you get in the midst of your season. The season just kicked off for both men's and women's programs. And having both those duties as both men's and women's tennis coach, I know it has to be tough. How do you split your time between both programs? Oh, um, I think we we have um something called like um um time management. Because I only by myself coaching, coaching the both team. I don't have no assistant. But so uh, we do the schedules. Like most of my schedule the same for both men and women, except except maybe like three three matches with uh, CIAA schools. So both teams travel to play together most all the time. No. So you were speaking about scheduling, the dual scheduling. The women are in the CIAA conference. The men don't have a conference. So you want to try to cut back on conflicts of, of scheduling by scheduling matches together. Now, the women are defending CIAA champions. But in the preseason polls, some prognosticators, they picked Johnson C. Smith to win the Southern Division. So is Johnson C. Smith a rival of Shaw in women's tennis, or how does that work, Coach? Yeah, yeah, they are, they are the one that really, really pushed me in the past for like two, three years ago. Now, I think we beat them in the final for those three years. So we call, it, yeah, we can call it like rivalry. So because they are the only one that you know pushed me to the you know to the limit. And, and the women, they again are defending champs, but the men's program doing well. Martin Munoz, you got Diego Leal. You have Ilya Skobalev. Like you have a couple of talented tennis players. Destiny Udofe, to name a few. And on the women's side, you have Syria and you got Kundai. You have talented players on both the men's and women's squads. What are the goals for both squads this season, Coach? Okay, I'm trying to go for four pit on the women's side. And the men, you know, we don't have no, we don't have no, no more. No more CIAA championship on the on men's side, but we try to go to the regional and see what we do in the NCAA regional and see what we you know what we what we what we made of this year because that's why I brought like I think six new guys, six new six new players to the to my team this year. So we 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 way way better than last year. So I'm trying to push for the for the regional this year. We rank number eight in the region in this um. Atlantic region now, and and then if we can, we have to be like number six, one through six made the regional. So we're trying to push for one of those numbers now. He's saying that you're trying to four peat. That's impressive on the women's side, trying to four peat. So they are talented in their own right. And the men are currently ranked number eight. You're trying to get into that sixth spot. You mentioned a host of new players on the squad, like Guillermo Franco. And, and Skobalev, um, you guys are coming off of an impressive win over Pfeiffer. Both men and women shut out Pfeiffer, um, over the, over this past weekend at Worthdale Park. And you're going to be hitting the road for matches, uh, with Catawba, um, this week as well. So you guys have a loaded schedule. You got a lot going on, coach. I just wanted to talk to you brief, briefly, you know, just to get caught up with you on the season. So you've, you've laid out the goals and just want to let everyone know that coach Inatan and both men's and women's squads, they play their home matches at Worthdale Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. Correct, coach? Yes, sir. All right. So if you want to come out and check out both women's and men's tennis, Come to Worthdale Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. Road matches may be a little harder to get to, but you can always go to shawbears.com for the latest and the greatest with both men's and women's tennis. Coach Sunday Entertain. Coach, thank you for joining us today on the Shaw Report. Yeah, thank you for having me, sir. Thank you. This is the Shaw Report with Damian Biggs. I love you.
want to thank Coach Inatan for taking some time out in his busy schedule to join us on the Shaw Report. Solid brother is Coach Inatan. Been leading the men's and women's program for quite some time now. The women's program, they're dominant. Going for their fourth straight CIAA championship, as Coach said, and the men's program is on the rise. So, shouts out to Coach Inatan for that interview. We're going to talk about the tennis squad. They were in action this past weekend hosting Pfeiffer at Worthdale Park, both women's and men's. We're going to talk about basketball men's and women's on the Shaw Bear scoreboard as well as softball. But first, let's pause for a sponsor break. Today's podcast is brought to you by Summit Hospitality. Summit Hospitality is a proud sponsor of Shaw University Athletics. With six Marriott-branded hotels in the Raleigh area, Summit Hospitality can manage all of your lodging needs. Make your reservations for your family or a group by calling 919-669-0576 and let them know that Shaw University Athletics sent you. That's Summit Hospitality, 919-669-0576. This is the Summit Report with Damian Biggs. I love you. Yes, uh, shouts out to Summit Hospitality, one of the proud sponsors of Shaw University Athletics. If you're in town, checking out sporting events, checking out friends, family, whatever the case may be, Summit Hospitality can hook you up. They got Marriott branded hotels all around the area. Tell them Shaw University Athletics sent you. And we thank you kindly. Speaking of the sponsors, also want to shout out Chick-fil-A of Garner. Chick-fil-A of Garner is one of the proud sponsors of Shaw University Athletics, as well as the Shaw University Booster Club. Always looking out for the student athletes at Shaw University. Shouts out to the sponsors. But I digress. Let's go ahead and get into this Shaw Bears scoreboard. We'll begin with men's and women's tennis. The men's and women's tennis programs both dropped matches at North Carolina Wesleyan last week. So this past Saturday, both of the squads hosted Pfeiffer at Worthdale Park in Raleigh, dominating performance by the men, winning over Pfeiffer 7-0, sweeping all three doubles matches as well as all of the singles matches. Shouts out to Martin Munoz, Diego Leal, Diego Nino, Guillermo Franco, Ilya Skobalev, and Destiny Yadofa, all winning their doubles matches. Also, Munoz knocked off his number one singles match, 6-4-6-1. Diego Leal won the number two singles match, 6-4-6-3. Romain Hannibal won his number three singles match, 6-1-6-1. Ilya Skobalev, 6-0-6-0 in his number four singles match. Destiny Udofe, 6-3-6-3 in his number five singles match. And Diego Leal, 6-1-6-3 in his number six singles match. Next match for the men's program will be today, February the 17th at Catawba. Now on the women's side of things, the women, they also shut out Pfeiffer six to zero. Shouts out to Syria DeBay, Eva Simo, Kundai Mayanga, Chetna Kumari, all winners on Saturday, knocking off Pfeiffer six to zero. Doubles shutout as well as singles shutout. The ladies took all three doubles matches and five of six of the singles matches. So the ladies are dominating as usual. Next up for the ladies, they'll also be on the road at Catawba on February the 17th. For more information on men's and women's tennis, visit ShawBears.com. Next up, we got men's and women's basketball action on Monday. Both men and women were in action on the road at Winston-Salem State. The Lady Bears got off to a quick start versus the Rams, leading 15-6 after the first quarter and 28-22 at halftime. The Rams would ratchet up their defense in the second half, especially in the third quarter, holding Shaw to just eight points. Shaw's offense went cold and the Lady Bears fell to Winston-Salem State, 47-57. 18 points, five rebounds in the loss for Shaw for D.J. Howard. In the men's matchup versus Winston-Salem State, immediately following the ladies, the Bears were in a shooting slump in the first half, trailed the Rams 42-26 at halftime. Shaw would put up better numbers in the second half, but the deficit was too large as the Bears fell to Shaw by the 52-76 score. Jasu Kimba led the Bears in defeat with 16 points and 5 rebounds. 
On Friday, the ladies hosted rival St. Augs on a Valentine's Day matchup. The Lady Bears played a spirited effort in this game, controlling action throughout the game.